The single biggest lesson that businesses have taught us is that money does not make the world go round. <laughs> and what I mean by that is that society cannot function just solely based on money and profits. My name is Cinderella George and I'm a lecturer at the School of Accounting and Commercial Law. I think that businesses need to change, that I think that there are certain values that for a number of decades now have perhaps either not served us in the way that they should and that those values not only need to change but are changing and businesses themselves are recognizing that. There is an emphasis on ideas of accountability and notions of accountability such as corporate social responsibility and I think what that takes is a new generation of young people who I I can see are more conscientious about uh, issues uh, around climate change and social equality or inequality. There have been a range of topics that I have studied within my economics and public policy major. This has been covering from child poverty to climate change to social insurance. It's really interesting because each time you step into a lecture theatre you don't know what you're going to study and when you do it's really interesting. So there's a lot of challenges in the world at the moment and the only way we're going to be able to make it through those challenges is with game-changing solutions. That's where innovation and entrepreneurship really comes in. It helps you understand where the biggest problems are and how to tackle them in the easiest way possible to adopt massive change and actually start to address those challenges that we're facing as a planet. It's very exciting to be a part of that drive. It makes me feel excited to go to the workforce to be able to push for that once I get there. I cannot wait to see what our generation does in the future. You would need to be passionate just about the world around you, from politics and how government runs to businesses and institutions such as corporations and other forms of for-profit organizations like that. A passion about how these organizations run, how they function, and the important goods and services that they deliver to society. I think people who succeed in innovation are the ones that are empathetic, that really understand the challenges that people are going through and can identify different ways of solving those problems. Being empathetic means to, yeah, really feel for them and, and to put yourself in their shoes. And if you can do that really successfully, you can be a really successful innovator or entrepreneur. The Bachelor of Commerce is about so many different ideas and concepts and it can't be narrowed down. There are so many different majors that you can take from accounting to public policy to economics to international business and the list goes on and on. I think fundamentally the Bachelor of Commerce is about society and it's about how our society functions and the various institutions that help it to function from government to business and how those two uh, sections of society intersect. So I think if I were to summarize the Bachelor of Commerce um, it is that it is about society and how society runs. The core courses that I have done so far I've found them to be very thought-provoking and eye-opening because they give a great base to some of the majors that you can study here. So if you're not sure on what you want to study, just starting with the BCom core is great because you'll instantly find what you like and what you don't like. What's special about the way we deliver our education here is that, first of all, the lecturers. I am so lucky to work with just an incredible set uh, of lecturers, teachers, who not only have an incredible knowledge base, but who research in the fields and in the ideas and concepts that they are teaching you. A second very special thing about the way that we deliver our knowledge is that it is very much a conversation, at least from the many uh, lecturers that I know and from the peers that I work with. We want to engage in a conversation with you rather than just bank a whole bunch of information on you. We want to talk to you. We want to understand your ideas. You are the future professionals. You're going to be the future both commercial professionals, public sector servants uh, and leaders of our country and perhaps the world and the future entrepreneurs. We want to know what you have to say. Uh, we want to know what your ideas are and have conversations. One of the things I really loved about doing uh, BCom was the ability of doing a combination of group projects and personal projects. The group projects really allowed me to hone my collaboration skills and, and gave me a nice sandbox for 
learning how to do presentations and learning how to speak in front of a crowd and really learning how to test run a business. It was the personal projects that gave me a, a lot of autonomy to push the ideas I was the most interested in forward in a really safe way. One of the big benefits I got through attending Victoria University and, and doing a BCom was meeting a wide range of people that I have continued to collaborate with throughout my career. Having a really strong network built such a great foundation for being able to connect and collaborate, ask questions of my peers, and I suspect that I'm gonna to continue to collaborate with them throughout the rest of my career. The degree is designed in a way that you can take uh, any majors that you want, that you can take the degree in addition to other degrees. It's really as flexible as you want to make it. It's very easy to change your major or minor or add and drop courses. It's as simple as going to a course advisor and you can change as easy as that. Having the opportunity to learn from guest speakers really gives you that extra understanding of how people have tackled the challenges that they've faced in their lives and in their businesses. And that's such an awesome, awesome experience to be able to go through. Understanding the processes that people have undertaken really allows you to fast track your way to some of the solutions you might be able to find in your world or in your business. Just starting a business is not easy. There are multiple factors and inputs that can go into a business. There's keeping yourself disciplined, but there's also the accounting side of things or the production management side of things where the management major could come in. Understanding how the economy works and how your business is influenced by the economy or understanding how government regulations could influence your business. We have been, as a university, able to establish connections with future and prospective employers in the government sector, in business as well. So we have fantastic links to graduate programs and the ability to connect with potential and future employers. You can take that BCom wherever you want to take it, both nationally and internationally as well. You can work for non-governmental organizations globally, in the United Nations, um, to charities, and a whole uh, host of public sector and also private and for-profit organisations as well. I think Wellington is a great place to study business because we are in the heart of it here, in the heart of the public sector. Government is right next door, certainly to our Pipitea campus, and all of these public sector organisations are all around us. Many large businesses also operate just within minutes walk away. I'm learning about stuff and it's right here. I can study a subject and be like, oh, these decisions are being made in Parliament right now. It's that connection that I don't believe you would receive at studying any other university. To study business in Wellington is to have access, to have access to all of these parties uh, that operate in these institutions that you're learning about. So that is why I think it's an excellent idea to study business here in Wellington. I'm currently in the Adam space here at our Pipitea campus. This is a fantastic space that students can schedule uh, time to spend, uh, to come together, to be innovative, to discuss their ideas, either for future businesses and ideas that they have, and to also engage with business leaders. You can really feel a sense of community. There's a series of events that they run throughout the year where you can meet and engage with people who are already running their own businesses, solving challenges in governments, and entrepreneurs out there making action. So the Adams are really awesome benefit of studying at Victoria University. So if you're excited about everything that we've been talking about, if you're excited about changing this world, if you're excited about addressing some of these key issues that we're facing as a society, I encourage you all to study a Bachelor of Commerce and especially here at the Wellington School of Business and Government. Wellington is waiting for you. It's a fantastic city and the opportunities are going to be endless for you.